a big pickle chip that was right on the top of my jar, sealed with my the bottom of my canning funnel, and it flowed the brine back out. Okay, so make sure that doesn't happen. <laughs> Hi you guys, welcome back to Kirstner Farmstead. If you are new to our channel, my name is Kirsty, and today we are going to be canning cucumbers. Pickles to be specific, but all different kinds, okay? So this is going to be our first canning episode after our Davis Ranch trip, okay? If you haven't seen that yet, go and check out that video. It will be the video that we posted yesterday. Uh, okay, so we did intentionally get a wide variety of sizes, all right? So these little guys here, we are going to be making into like a gherkin type pickle. And then these are going to be just larger whole pickles. And then these oddballs, these are like the middle sizes that, that didn't fit into either of the other ones. Um, these are going to be slices and then the giant guys over here are going to be relish. All right, so the first thing that we are going to have to do is we have to wash them all. We did pick them fresh off the vine, so we are going to have to wash them. They are dirty. Um, and then what we are going to do is we are going to take them, and we since I have all the sizes separated already, I'm going to do this in separate um, water baths, but you do not have to do it that way. You can just combine all of them together if you would like to. After I wash them, I'm going to take them and put them into ice water baths for five hours, okay? So not just solid ice, you don't want it to freeze them. You just want them to get nice and firm before we do the pickling process. All right, let's get going. Okay, you guys, so we actually let our cucumbers soak in cold water overnight because I just did not get to them yesterday. So today we are going to start, our first recipe is going to be pickled chips. And of course, they do not fit in my food processor <laughs> because my food processor is made with a safety where the top has to be clipped into it. So it only has one little hole that you can put stuff through if you're shredding it and these cucumbers do not fit. <laughs> but it's okay, we have hands, right? God blessed us with hands. So we are going to be cutting all of these, all of this bucket by hand. And we decided that we were gonna start with pickle chips because we need this canning pot to be outside on the burner so that we can be canning in it. All right, well, let's get going. We are gonna cut these. We're gonna cut the ends off first put them into our chicken bucket and then we are going to cut them in 1 8 inch slices. All right, you guys, we are ready to get our brine going for our pickle chips, okay? This is going to be a savory dill pickle. There's only going to be a little bit of sugar in the brine to counteract all the vinegar, okay? So we're gonna put one quart of water and one quart of apple cider vinegar and to this we are going to add two tablespoons of salt of pickling salt you can also use um, kosher salt or any salt that does not have iodine in it so two tablespoons of pickling salt and then we are going to put two tablespoons of sugar these pickles do not end up end up being sweet um, the sugar is purely to balance the vinegar all right we are going to get this on the stove and heat it only enough to dissolve the sugar and the salt okay we are cold packing today so um, remember that's gonna mean we're gonna need cold jars cold product and a cold canner okay we are going to be water bath canning okay so a little bit about canning pickles. You don't process them for very long. We are only going to be processing them for 10 minutes, which means that you have to 
sterilize your jars ahead of time. So they changed the rules recently on us. So if you're canning anything over 15 minutes, then you don't have to sterilize your jars. But we do have to if it's under that time. So I did throw all of my jars into my oven. You know, that is not an approved method, but I use it. Um, and I heated it up to 200 degrees for 15 minutes and then I just shut my oven off and I left my jars in there, okay? Um, and so because we don't, we didn't need them hot, I just needed them cleaned, okay? All right, so the cool thing about cold packing is that you can prep all of your jars instead of just doing one batch at a time because the product has to stay hot, you can get them all ready, right? Okay, so we're going to be using a half a teaspoon of peppercorns. And now we are going to do a teaspoon of dried dill. I could not source any fresh dill. If you wanna do fresh dill, just use a whole dill spray. Um, we went to four different stores today and none of them had fresh dill. So, and I only have one sad little dill plant in my garden, so I wasn't gonna pick it. I'm gonna save it for seeds. But I picked up this dill, this dried dill from Winco, I think last year. So I was really happy that I still had that in my pantry. All right, we are gonna do one teaspoon of pickling spice. Okay, and then I am going to be using a tablespoon in each jar of our freeze-dried garlic. Um, a tablespoon equals about two cloves. So uh, if you want to use fresh garlic, then use two cloves in a corn. Or if you don't like garlic that much, only use one. I have, I keep a lid on anything that I have that's freeze-dried, even if I'm using it right away. It's pretty humid in here. So I keep a lid on all of my freeze-dried products um, because it starts, it starts absor absorbing moisture really, really fast. Okay, so now I'm going to take one quarter of an onion, like a quarter of a round, right? And I'm gonna put it into the bottom of each of my jars. It's not so much for like the pickled onion as it is for the flavor. All right, so our brine is ready. Remember, you do not want your brine to come to a boil. You are just going to uh, get it warm enough to dissolve the salt and the sugar. You guys, we had the worst luck with a brand new case of Kerr jars today. I jinxed myself saying it in the tomato video, I tell you, because we, one of, um, what, an entire case, every single lid was bad. The jars were fine, but every single lid had metal crimped completely over the under, I'll pop up a picture, crimped completely over the seal on one side. We contacted, we tried to contact Ball, which by the way, if you're trying to get Kerr, you have to contact Ball. And we did leave a um, review because we can't get anybody on the phone. If anybody has a contact number that actually works, please let us know because it's pretty upsetting when it's not just, obviously that's not just one that was bad, you know? So I'm gonna try to lay the slices as flat as possible so that um, we can get as many in here as we can. You wanna pack your jars pretty tight because they're, they, it is gonna shrink up a little bit in the canning pot. Ooh, I can smell that freeze-dried garlic. The freeze-dried freeze -dried products, um, it's like it's like the flavor gets amplified, and so it's like really strong smelling. And now we are going to fill our jars with our brine, and we are going to leave a half an inch headspace. A big pickle chip that was right on the top of my jar sealed with my, the bottom of my canning funnel and it flowed the brine back out. Okay, so make sure that doesn't happen. <laughs> even those of us who have been canning for years or even our whole lives still have stupid stuff like that happen. Okay, so we are just going to use today because we're cold packing, we are going to use a clean, dry flour sack towel um, to wipe our rims off to make sure there's no water or vinegar. Remember that you want your jars to be, your jar rings to be fingertip tight. So you're gonna put them on and spin until you feel resistance and then go a quarter turn farther. 
Okay, you guys, so we are going to bring these jars outside and get them into our water bath canners. They are not hot yet. We're going to put them in cold, and then as soon as it starts a low boil, we are going to set the timer for 10 minutes and pull them out. You don't want to over can these or they will be really mushy. All right, we'll be back when we're done.